Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, by now, we've installed MariaDB to actually set up the database for Nextcloud. We've installed Ubuntu Server to serve MariaDB. And now, we just got done setting up Apache 2 to serve up the actual web interface of the Nextcloud server. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to actually install Nextcloud, log into it, create our user, and then kind of give you an overview of what it looks like. So that, that way you could use Nextcloud on your own hardware in your own home to secure your private things. And now it is restarted. So now technically we should have Nextcloud up and running on our server. So we could type in either localhost, localhost, and look at that. We actually have Apache up and running and working. Or you could type in home cloud. Remember, that's what we named our server cloud and there it is perfect and now you can get to your next cloud instance through here so now we're going to want to set up our next cloud we got to set up our user in it and we got to set up you know our database stuff down here so um that's what we're going to work on now okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to create our own user for um the next cloud so we're going to type in and give ourselves our, our name and then our password here. Now, it doesn't have you confirm the password, so make sure that you write down the password or know that the password that you're writing and what it is. Uh, you can do it by turning on this. As you can see, you can type in letters and you can see what they are. So I would suggest that you do that while you put in your password. Um, for me, I'm gonna do it the same as what I did earlier before. So it's no big deal if you guys know what it is, because once again, I'm getting rid of this instance, so it won't be visible to you guys or accessible to you guys. So there's that. Um, it's also giving us a, a warning that the connection is not secure um, because we haven't signed a, a security certificate. So um, we can go over how to do that. It's further down in the vlog post on how to do that. So now you're going to make sure that the this directory is correct, which it is. Okay, and then we're going to um, do, do our database user and the password and the database name. Okay, so the database user that we created when we granted the permissions and the password, remember that long line, uh, was Nextcloud, and the password was what you gave it, okay? And then the database name was Nextcloud. So then we click install. It's taking a second to do it, but it's installing Nextcloud right now. And when it's all done, we will be into Nextcloud. So I will pause the video and when it's done, I will resume. Okay, and here we are. It's done installing it and setting it up. And so now what's going to happen is it's going to ask us to install the recommended apps, which is going to install calendar, contacts, mail, next cloud office and talk. So we're going to hit install recommended apps. And it's, as you can see, it's got the little thinking thing. It's now doing it. It's installing them. And then when it's all done installing, it should log us into our dashboard. And I will resume the video when it's done installing. Okay, so it finished installing Nextcloud and the, the apps. So now you actually have a fully fledged up and running Nextcloud instance. Now it gives you this little walkthrough. So you hit this little thing here and you're going to see what it what it helps you to do you know you can host your data in your files wherever you decide you can, you know it's got open standards and interoperability and then 100 open source community thing uh um focused so 
click the next one and then there's more apps you can go to the next cloud app store and there's tons of apps you could uh install if you click here it'll open up the app store and you can browse it or you could go through the actual dashboard and find it as well so um let's go ahead and click here to browse the app store and show you what well it already opened it so we're going to click next out of the get out of this hub and also you could put it on uh here to get on your android phone or your desktop or uh your apple device or whatever you can um for you can install it so you can sync your two and just like you would anywhere else and so now you are done we're going to start using nextcloud and here are the app stores now there are calendars there's circles there's comments there's contacts you got the dashboard you deleted files all this stuff but if you want to go to your app store for multimedia like you, these are your active apps that you have used right now that are installed and running okay you can go to app bundles and there's file access control which you can download and enable I mean, there's all kinds of cool stuff, but let's go to the featured apps. The featured apps are the ones that it more, I think are the ones that it installed. Yeah, like the first run wizard, all that good stuff. But so let's say you want to go to games. You can install games on here. So they have um, keep or sweep. I'm not sure what that is, but it's randomly clean your next cloud data. That's under games. Unable and tested app. Okay, integration. Uh, so you have circles, you have next cloud office, after logic. CAS server, CAD viewer, BPM files, big blue button integration. I, I'm not sure what any of these are, but there's cPanel mail sync, um, cloud Python API. Um, I mean, there's all kinds of stuff here for, for monitoring. Um, they've got activities and share file downloads. So I guess these are administrative monitoring things. And then under multimedia, you have audio player, you have automated media conversion, Big blue button integration. You have Dicom viewer, ebook readers, uh, cam raw previews, uh, facial recognition right here. Wow, a face recognition app. Uh, there's all kinds of apps here that you could actually install. G Potter Sync um, looks like GPX Motion, GPX Edit for uh, like a GPS thing. Uh, phone track? What? Track and display phones positions in real time? whoa wow yeah so i mean there's lots of stuff you can actually do here some of it's that tracking of your phone thing that's kind of that's sketch <laughs> that, that's kind of sketch but i guess it's only your family or whoever you allow connected to your next cloud server so if your company business company is using just a psa here if your company that you work for is using a next cloud server that you log into and back up stuff for there's potential that they could be tracking your phone that's alarming to to a degree but that's that's interesting um obviously if they have that installed and i guess you could ask your admin your it admin if that's installed or not um if it is and you can block your locations i guess you know make sure that those are blocked if you don't want them tracking you when you're not communicating with them uh, for office and text they have analytics they have calendar they have appointments oh nice an appointment app they got all, all, all kinds of these all these you can download and install just by simply like appointments you hit download and enable it's going to download it and it's going to enable it just like that it's enabled and so so there's that so if you click here this is your dashboard it's reloading the dashboard and so these are your, I guess, your quick tiles that you could see where you would have, you know, uh, uh, information posted like, you know, upcoming events for your appointments, right? If you want to create one, boom, you can do that for your calendar. Uh, important mail. If you want to set up an account, you can set up an email account, connect your Google account or whatever you want, you know, Yahoo or AOL, or if you still have AOL, whatever, you can connect it there. For talk, uh, you can send chat messages to one another. Anybody that's connected to this, it'll deliver chat messages to them. It's like a like a pigeon chat or whatever. Uh, I do believe that if you enable a certain dependency, 
you could do video conferencing on it, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And then these are all recommended files that that are there for you to check out. Uh, you can set your status here, which is away, do not disturb, tell them what you're doing, you're in a meeting or whatever, that kind of stuff. Uh, also, the set you can set location for weather, so we're going to hit... Okay. Oh, there it is. Tell me it's six degrees Celsius out and cloudy. Yes, it is cold. It is cold here. So that is set up. Uh, if you look up here, then you got, you can click on files and that, that takes you to your file folders and shows you any folders that you have here um, that are already set up that you can back stuff up to. Um, also, it's got a, a tutorial MP4 here that you can watch. You click on photos, it's going to take you to your photo file. Which that latency that you feel is because it's actually serving it through the server instead of me just looking directly into it. So there, these are photos that are there. I mean, that, that they already have in there that are put in there. Beautiful photo. Wow. Anyhow, so there's theirs. And then uh, for activity, this will take you to your recent activities. So anybody that's done anything will be in here or you've done anything will be in here. Um, also for talk, this is your talk folder, which I think should have your conversations. That's correct. So if you have multiple conversations with multiple people, um, then you can actually look and see who you're talking to here for mail. Of course, is going to be your mail reader. So like, um, if you've got, like, you see, you can set it up right here. It's wanting me to set it up automatically, but I'm not going to do that right now because this is just an overview of it. So anyhow, that's that that'll do that now for mail in, in there. It will actually be your like you can check out your Gmail or whatever contacts. Of course, this is where you can add contacts um, that you would like to keep for your business or whichever you're using it. Family contacts, whatever. Um, then, of course, your calendar. This is going to be your calendar. It's like a regular calendar. And then appointments app. This is going to be like an organizer where you can actually put in appointments and schedule them and they'll be right here um, as reminders. So, and that's the new app that we added as a demo. So anyhow, that is how you install NextCloud onto Ubuntu server and you get it up and running. It, you, there was a mistake there um, that I did in the copy and paste where I forgot to change in those directories to the actual name that I gave it for the next cloud server, which was the Alex next cloud dot Alex home cloud dot cloud. And so make sure that you guys change, change those. Otherwise you're not going to actually have a good experience with, uh, with next cloud it's, it's going to be bad. Uh, but other than that, it's that simple to be hosting. And so now technically uh, if I have this on my main network, I could type in the Alex home cloud dot cloud, which is what we named it as the server name in the hosts file. Uh, and now I could, while I'm connected to my network at home, I could actually back up all my stuff to that. And it's securely kept on site, accessible through my network only, not by the web or anything like that. So, um, that way it's secure, not at risk for hackers. Now, if you want to make it accessible through the web to be able to do it from any internet connection that you're on, then you want to just simply change the server name to whatever it is your domain name is that you have registered at either GoDaddy, DuckDNS, or whatever, and it should point it right back to this. Now, if you do the DuckDNS, you have to install it, and if you go to their web page, you can do that. If you guys want me to show you how to do that, Leave a comment down below and I'll be happy to. Other than that, enjoy your next cloud server, man. It's awesome. It's good stuff. It's another layer of security to keep your private stuff private that you don't want shared, that you take the risk of sharing when you put it on somebody else's cloud server, whether it be Google or I don't know what Apple's is, but Apple's iCloud or whatever it is, or even, you know, any of these other cloud servers that offer storage anywhere else on the web. So just keep in mind, 
Keeping your stuff personal is always your number one priority that you want to keep personal. So until we meet again, you guys keep doing what you guys do. You guys keep on Linux and you guys have a great day. Also, before I go, I want to say thank you to my Patreons of Mr. Brian Bomarito and Mislav Kreslop, who are my two Patreons. Also, if you liked this video and you thought it was informative and it helped you do what you wanted to do, don't forget to like and join my channel, please. I can use the members. It's awesome. You get perks. You get priority replies. You also get to see videos first before they drop to the regular public. And if you become a Patreon, you get to see them first over there as well. And you also, so I'm going to start making content specifically for Patreons. So uh, that is uh, the perks of being a Patreon. Anyhow, see you all later.